Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, welcome. Yeah. Welcome back to class. This is standard five, yeah. English. Children, open your main course book. Open your main course book. That is page number forty. Page number forty. That is chapter five. Poem: The Recycling Wrap. Chapter five: The Recycling Wrap. Today we are going to learn a new poem. The title of the poem is "The Recycling Wrap." Okay. In the previous class, we completed lesson number four. That was lesson four. What was that lesson? That was about information. Please. Lesson explanation is over. I have to do the activity, and then I have to give you the notes, and we have to complete the textual work. Kati, mute your system. Okay. What is wrap? Close your camera. Kati. What is wrap? Children, you know what is wrap. What is wrap? Shesh Nandi, what is wrap, beta? Number five. Song which we. Sing in the form of a poem or like how we are reciting. It is very fast. It's not that singing, uh, normal singing. It is you know uh, uh, with a very uh, high beat, high volume, and then uh, we sing it very fast. It's like you know we are speaking in between, like we are reciting something. That is called as rap. Why is the title of the poem given here? The recycling wrap. Why is it given like the recycling wrap? What do you mean by recycle? Recycling. You have already learned this word in SST and in science. What is recycling? Recycling. What do you mean by recycling? Man, which we have used, we should use with different type. Man, like plastic bottle, we can cut and we can put in that plants. Very good. So that is Man, first, we are using recycling and, and, and we are using it again and again. That is called as recycling. Children, I want to ask you a simple question. What is pollution? What is pollution? Can anyone tell me what is pollution? Mummy, ma'am, pollution. Pollution is that pollution. Pollution is the smoke that came from factories, cars. Pollution is good for us or bad for us? Ma'am, it is bad for us. Okay. Should we stop it or should we continue it? should we continue to pollute things or should we stop polluting things ma'am no, ma'am no, we should stop polluting we should stop polluting okay there are many types of pollutions there are many types of pollutions among that we will learn among that we will learn very few which is very important in the previous classes that is in the month of april in the month of april if you remember because i remember in the month of april sst lesson 1 the first chapter that i did was on pollution do you remember that do you remember children Yes, in the month of april sst yes, first yes, chapter what i did was on pollution i made two types of uh, teaching aid 
i made two types of activities and i showed you how pollution takes place what are the reasons for pollution what are the drawbacks of pollution how people suffer how nature suffers from pollution i also showed you the ways uh, prevention methods to prevent pollution in that during that class in sst if you remember very well i showed you air pollution i showed you water pollution i showed you land pollution i also showed you soil pollution for air pollution i showed you a simple activity by burning the oil lamp or the camphor or agarbatti water pollution i showed you a glass of clean water when you mix something the water gets polluted the color changes for land pollution i showed you i brought a plate of soil in that i had you know showed you pieces of plastics pieces of uh, uh, cell batteries unwanted things metals which pollutes the land i also showed you uh, land pollu uh, land pollution that is garbage that we dispose all the chemicals the medicines the unwanted dirt this pollutes the land so these are very important uh, things which we should remember or these are the main uh, pollutions that is what are the things one is air pollution because of the chemicals and bursting of crackers smoke but vehicle using of vehicles all this causes air pollution water pollution all big factories letting out all the chemicals in the water bodies disposing of unwanted things in the water bodies which is also affecting the aquatic life and when we eat sea food again it is affecting us land pollution that is dumping of garbage chemicals waste unwanted things leads to land pollution and soil pollution again use of plastic dispose of plastic unwanted things like chemicals dirty water uh, battery and all those things poisonous things that pollutes the soil so these are all important things we should note that how to prevent these pollutions i gave you measures also i remember i had given you some assignment to write down the measures to prevent i showed you in the activity i showed you and i gave you assignment also to write down or find out the measures to reduce pollution so how can we reduce pollution how can we reduce pollution we can reduce pollution by recycling we can reduce pollution by recycling recycling things that is the use of 3r the use of 3r the use of 3r that is recycle reduce and reuse it if we do that we may not eradicate everything we may not stop everything but to some extent to some level we might reduce it we might lessen it we will not increase it we will lessen it so the recycling process or the use of 3r that is recycle reduce and reuse so today we are going to know about the recycling rap in the form of poem and what is this rap conveying the message to us what is there in this beautiful poem what is the message 
given to us. We will see. Oh, no, watch is not coming. But it is not my problem. Problem is in your head. Can you can you can you not come in clear? Will you stop now? Today we are going to learn the new poem. The title of the poem is the recycling wrap. The recycling wrap. Every year in the month of April we celebrate Earth Day. Why do we celebrate Earth Day? We celebrate Earth Day so that we take a vow or we make a promise to ourselves that we are going to save our Mother Earth. Every year Earth Day is celebrated. It is a reminder for us so that we protect our Mother Earth. How can we protect our Mother Earth? By reducing pollution. By reducing pollution. Then only we can live a peaceful life on earth. Otherwise, we are all going to get affected because of the pollution and we are going to get various types of problems and even diseases. So to avoid this, we have to stop polluting things. We have to stop polluting things and that is the reason why every year Earth Day is celebrated in the month of April. So this poem is a unique poem that will encourage us to recycle things we use at home. So this poem is a unique poem that will encourage us to recycle things which we use at home. So page number 40, chapter 5, that is a poem, The Recycling Rap. Listen to me children, listen to me children, hear what I say. We have got to start recycling, it's the only way. To save this planet, I told you children, don't scream in between. If you have any problem, just drop a message in the chat box. Your voice is getting recorded. Understand? Maybe there is an internet issue. Can't you have patience? Don't scream in between. Drop a message in the chat box. I understand I can't help, you can't help. Kindly cooperate. Okay? If you have to say something, put a message. Don't scream in between. I am sending the video link also. You can refer that. If there is no clarity, if you can't hear it properly, I am sending the video recording, I am sending. You can check, view that. Okay? Listen to me, children. Hear what I say. We have got to start recycling. It's the only way. To save this planet for future generations, the name of the game is Reclamation. It's a beautiful poem. As I told you, it's a unique poem which is going to teach us how to recycle things that we use at home. The first four lines of the poem, the first four lines of the poem says, Listen to me, children. Listen to me, listen to me, children. Hear what I say. The poet is attracting the children, is adv advising the children or addressing the children. The poet says, Listen to me, children, hear what I say. We have got to start recycling. It's the only way. Why is the poet saying it's the only way? The poet is saying this because we have to reduce pollution. 
if you reduce pollution we can see the future generation otherwise things are going to be very bad worse the further generation the upcoming generation will suffer a lot that's why the poet says listen to me children hear what i say we have got to start recycling it's the only way to save this planet for, for future generation which planet planet earth the poet is talking about planet earth to save this planet for future generations the name of the game is reclamation what is the meaning of reclamation the meaning of the word reclamation here is the treatment of waste materials to get useful materials from them that is recycle so the poet says to save this planet for future generation the name of the game is reclamation that is to recycle the things that we use to get a, uh, to recycle to treat the treatment of waste materials to get useful materials from them you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense you have got to start recycling stop sitting on the fence no more pussy footing no more clap clap get it get yourself doing the recycling rap what does the second stanza mean the next four lines you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense we have to do something to say the planet earth the meaning of reclamation is given in your textbook i repeated it two times what were you doing when i was repeating it if i ask you to type a message in the chat box that doesn't mean instead of paying attention you keep only typing message i repeated the meaning two times the next stanza say you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense it means it is a useful work the recycling of things to get a useful material so the poet says you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense you have got to start recycling stop sitting on the fence don't waste time wasting here and there that little time what you get start planning things how to recycle and how to get useful materials no more pussy footing no more pussy footing no more clap traps now what is the meaning of pussy footing not deciding or expressing an opinion because of uncertain certainty or fear develop that confidence level in yourself make up your mind that you have to do something don't become forward don't be afraid don't get scared come forward very boldly express your feelings your thoughts your ideas in making this recycling a success how we are going to plan how we are going to uh, give suggestions how we are going to make it work successful what will be your contribution in making this um the recycling event or the recycling this thing successful what will be your contribution what will be your ideas and clap traps just don't talk what you speak 
you should do it plan it you should practice what you preach only preaching and doing nothing will not help if you take an assignment in your hand if you take a project in your hand you have to plan out things according to that and you have to work together then only you will become successful in completing your task if you don't do that it will be only a big mouth talk so you have to plan you have to execute and then only things will work out come on and start recycling start today by saving old newspapers not throwing them away don't just take them and dump them on the tip tie them in a bundle and put them in the skip so the poet starts with simple things that is available at home as you all know children we all buy newspaper newspaper comes to our house every day we like to read the news we like to read the articles we get information about various states about our country the happenings everything so we buy the newspaper and what we do after reading we just dump it or we throw it or we just give it it to that raddi wala the poet says don't do that he says come on and start recycling come on and start recycling start today by saving old newspapers not throwing them away don't just take them and dump them on the tip tie them in a bundle and put them in the skip tip here is a place where you can throw waste material and skip here is a huge container in which waste materials and objects are placed children do you know from where do we get paper do you know from where do we get paper we get paper ma'am we get paper from paper from paper from paper we get paper from we get paper from we get paper from plants we get paper from plants we have to cut down so many plants we have to cut down so many plants to make paper and what we do no doubt we we are spending money to buy the newspaper and after that what we do we just dispose it we are wasting our money we are wasting our time we are wasting our energy and we are wasting such valuable plants whom we cut for the making of paper so we have to recycle it and reduce pollution and reuse it for that reason the poet says come on and start your recycling start today by saving old newspaper not throwing them away don't just take them and dump them on the tip tie them in a bundle and put them in the skip just to make one newspaper we have to cut down trees so think about it so recycle and reuse it get collecting protecting the future up to you save all your old glass bottles and your jam jars too take them to the bottle bank then at the factory the glass can be recycled saving energy in the next stanza the po poet says get collecting protecting the futures is up to you save all your old glass bottles and your jam jars too 
take them to the bottle bank then at the factory the glass can be recycled saving energy children there are many things which we can recycle and reuse it but we don't give a second thought to it because we are so busy you know with our mobile our television our video games our personal life there are many things which can be recycled energy will be saved and we can reuse it and the cost also will be less so in the next so the poet says save all your glass bottles and your jam jars they can be recycled and we can save lot of energy in the next stanza don't chunk away that empty drink can remember what i said start recycling man wash it squash it squeeze it flat and thin ma'am take it to the take it to the save can and post it in take it to the save a can and post it in that means even the tin the tin containers we drink soft drinks cans and all we drink and we just throw it here and there so even that can be recycled energy will be saved money will be saved and we can reuse it so the poet is giving us a beautiful message in this poem of how things can be recycled and reused by saving money and energy the last stanza of the poem listen to me children hear what i say listen to me children hear what i say we have got to start recycling it's the only way to save this planet for future generations the name of the game is reclamation you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense you have got to start recycling stop sitting on the fence no more to see footings no more clap clap get your get yourself doing the recycling rap this beautiful poem is been written by john foster this beautiful poem is written by john foster john foster was born in 1941 john foster was born in 1941 john foster is one of the most admired children's poet he writes poem for only children john foster is one of the most admired children's poets he has been writing poems for about 40 years some of his famous poems are the dancing the 10 dancing dinosaurs let's give a cheer for onomo onomotopia and the school kids rap most of his poems are humorous with simple messages so john foster the poet is giving us a beautiful message in this poem in the last stanza he says listen more mute your system more mute your system in the last stanza the poet says listen to me children hear what i say he says listen to me children hear what i say we have got to start recycling it's the only way i say to save this planet for future generations the name of the game is reclamation you have got to start recycling you know it makes sense you have got to start recycling stop sitting on the fence 
no more fussy footing no more clap traps get yourself doing bar get yourself doing the recycling trap again the poet says you have to save the planet earth you have to save the planet earth for the future generation if you don't start it today if you don't start it now you will never start it don't give lame excuses don't give excuses saying i am busy i have work i have working i can't do this i can't do that 